All right, welcome to this on-demand webinar. My name is Joshua Zumberger. I'm a CATIA Applications Engineer here at Inflow. And today we're going to be talking about how to move around in CATIA with different movement functions, as well as the computer mouse shortcuts that you can use to make moving your models easier and more efficient. So, the different movement functions that we're going to be going over today. We're going to start off uh, going over the pan, be able to zoom, touch on, being able to rotate, uh, take your part and we can do the fit all in function as well as then we'll finish up with the normal view for these so starting off with the pan so the pan function is going to allow us uh, to move transversely across the viewer there is the CATIA icon for using this part or for using that function and then the computer mouse shortcut that we'll go over here for this uh, pretty simple straightforward with this all you have to do is press down and hold your mouse wheel so just press and hold that down and that'll allow you to pan uh, back and forth with your part so if we go here look at this part here we have this uh, piston assembly if we come down we can see that we uh, are in our view tab we can go and select the pan icon and we can go out in the space then and when we click and hold we can go and drag our mouse then left and right and we can pan to the different sides uh, transversely moving this object. Now, for the mouse clicking feature for this, the shortcut, we are going to press and hold down the mouse wheel. So we have that press, press down and holding it down. And from there then we can move the mouse left, we can move it to the right, we can pan the different model to where we need it to be from this. So the next function we're going to go over is how to zoom in. So for this, the uh, CATIA icon there looks like a magnifying glass that we have. And the computer mouse shortcut that we'll be able to use, uh, same first step as what we did with the being able to pan. You're going to press and hold the mouse wheel down. For this one, for the second step for that, the shortcut, you want to press and release the left mouse button. So press down and hold the mouse wheel, keep that press down and then the second option there you go and press and release the left mouse button so we have our piston assembly still here we're gonna keep using this we're in our view tab we can go and select the zoom icon and from here we can click and hold and with that left mouse button held down if we drag the mouse down it's gonna zoom out if we drag it up we're gonna zoom in So like set down brings us out, up brings us zoomed in. Now for the CATIA, for the shortcut here for the mouse, we are going to press and hold down the mouse wheel. Then we are going to press and release the left mouse button. So keeping that mouse wheel pressed down, press and release the left mouse button. From here, if we drag our mouse downward, it will zoom out. If we drag it forward, it will zoom in. So once again, we can go press the mouse wheel down, hold it down, then press and release the left mouse button and this allows us to zoom out or zoom in with the movement of our mouse. Next we are going to talk about how to rotate. So this is going to be able to turn the view around either horizontal uh, or vertical axis for this. So here is the CATIA icon. It's a hand just kind of hovering over top of the a ball there. And for the computer mouse shortcut, it's going to be almost identical uh, to being able to zoom in. So we start with the same thing we always do here. Here we press and hold down the mouse wheel. And for this step though, for the second one, we're going to press and hold down the left mouse button as well. So we know for zoom, we pressed and released it. For rotate, we're going to press and hold down the left mouse button. So you'll have both the uh, left, left mouse button pressed down and the mouse wheel pressed down for this. We go to our part here, we can go down, still under the view tab with this, we can click the rotate button, bring it out into space, and when we click and hold for this, now we can drag the part and rotate it around to whichever view that we need for this. Dragging the mouse down, upwards is going to change which rotation, which axis that we're using. Now for the mouse shortcut, 
for this, we can go and we will press down and hold our mouse wheel. Keeping that held down, we will press and hold the left mouse button. And from there, it allows us to drag and rotate the part where we need it to be. Now for a uh, fun feature with this too, if you do your rotate out to the side here, if you pull it all the way out and kind of away from your part, by going and holding that mouse button down, holding the left uh, mouse button down too, when you rotate upwards, this will rotate it on a planar, a 2D plane view there. So you're kind of just rotating it uh, about uh, a single axis with this. Versus then, if you bring that mouse in towards the center it will release that 2d function and it'll allow you to rotate in 3d so bringing it to the outside if you keep it there it'll allow you to rotate it about a two degree or a plane versus then if you bring it to inside you can do a 3d rotational with this okay so now we're on to the fit all in feature uh, Here's the Katia icon for that, kind of the same magnifying glass with the triangles on the inside of it. Uh, there is no uh, mouse shortcut for this, but what this feature is going to do is it's going to allow to zoom the geometry either in or out based on where you're originally positioned. And it goes and it reframes the entire set of parts uh, to fit them inside the viewer while it goes and maximizes the use of the viewer space. A uh, very useful tool to get your part back to where it needs to be. So let's say we have our part kind of just off in space, it's kind of out there, you need to bring it back into the viewer, get it kind of squared up and uh, you know easy to view for it. We can go then, still in our view tab, we can go press the fit all in feature. And by doing that, it automatically zooms us back into uh, the part it brings it to the center of the screen before we need it and from there then we can go rotate pan we can move the part to where we need to need it to be once again clicking the fit all in just recenters it brings it fully zoomed in to where the part would be and it also works for zooming out so let's say you're super zoomed in on a part not sure what you're looking at you can go click the fit all in feature and it'll zoom you back out and recenter the part for you All right, finally we go over the normal view. So there's the Katia icon for that. Uh, it's kind of eye looking at the plane there. And this is great for, uh, it takes your views uh, that you have and it lines them up with a perpendicular vantage point uh, that you go and select uh, by choosing a plane on the part. So either a plane that's already you've made yourself or a plane or face of the object to be able to go and get a perpendicular view of. So we see here, back to our piston assembly, we can go down, select the normal view, and from here, if we want to go and get a perpendicular view off of that plane, off of that face there, we go, we see it's highlighted, we just left click it and select it, and it rotates our part over, so now we're looking at a perpendicular view of that plane. So, if we needed to, let's say, get a top view of this, get a perpendicular look straight down, we can do the same thing. Go down and click our normal view. Go back up to the top. We can say we want to look at this side. And that gives us a perpendicular view looking down on the part there. Okay, so to recap with this, we went and we talked about uh, how to pan. That one there, just a simple press and hold your mouse wheel button down. The zoom feature which is pressing that mouse wheel down, holding that down again, then press and release your uh, left mouse button that allows you to zoom. You have your rotate feature which is pressing down the mouse wheel, holding that down, and then pressing and holding down your uh, left mouse button that allows you to rotate. And we talked about rotating from the outside of the part which allows you to rotate uh, two-dimensionally versus then when you bring it in closer to the part it will allow you to do a 3D rotation. We have the fit all in feature which is nice to bring everything back in centered on the screen and zoom to appropriate level maximizes uh, your viewing ability for your part 
And then lastly, we went with the normal view, which gives you that perpendicular look uh, based on which plane or which face you selected. So that's it for uh, this webinar. Thank you for watching.